Okay, here's the state of the bus today. This morning I got the driver's chair turned loose from the floor. That was quite a task because they sucked the bolts. Two of them are still in there. They sucked them right down into the floor so far. Tore the mount on the bottom of the chair. I can see. So they sucked those bolts down so tight they pulled them through the base. But the back ones were anchored fine. So I got the chair out of the way. Now I can get in there and pull that last panel off. I got the Front cabinet opened up so I can unwire the warning lights. I got the air cylinder on the doors removed, which was that thing was pretty well broken. There's some of the miscellaneous airline parts. Which, these things are pretty cool because I didn't understand this, but when you push forward on that red you push that red thing forward, um, it'll let the hose out. So that simple plastic hose have enough pressure to go to the air cylinder. There's the air cylinder. The fuse box is getting thinner and thinner, so that's all working great. And pretty soon I'll start Right here is where it's going to get cut to go elevated to be raised up. So I'm getting close. This was kind of cute. The, if you rode on a bus and it was cold by the wall, maybe the insulation was down like these are. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm getting really close to being able to raise the rip up. Just a little more. Take a few more things out. Got this on sale at Harbor Freight for only 20 bucks. And man, is that better than sliding on your back. Uh, so this may be more interesting down here. Now we're in the middle of the bus. And that's the fuel tank, which we think is about 100 gallons, but we don't know yet. <laughs> This is typically where the end of their storage is made or already exists. There's the rear end. And this is where the condenser from the air conditioner was. So that over here is that's a storage box that's from the outside, but I'm like, they could have made that way bigger. I don't know why they didn't. This is the underneath. Don't know if it's interesting to anybody. <laughs> You're under the bus. Okay, I got that air seat out. That was a wrestling job. I don't know what's going to happen with that because it doesn't work. It had a leak in it. But it may get refurbished and re and put right back in, get it reupholstered and get it working right. Might come right back in. But right now it's gonna sit there and think about it. Okay, so got my air seat out. I got my uh, door thing out. I unwired a few more things. I gotta go get some labels to mark more of these wires, but getting closer to being able to cut it in two. So that's what I'm gonna keep doing, keep working that direction. I got plenty of room up here now. <laughs> this is hard to fill. I need mama back in the bus again, but I'm cutting out to uh, this one piece that was for the seat belt to fasten to, but it's in the section that's gonna be raised up, so I'll have to cut it out and put it back later. So, I 
got this side cut loose. And that's where the shoulder part harness on the seat belt anchored. And then I'm going to cut this side loose. And I'm just using this little angle grinder cutter. Technically done with the gutting out of the top, I still got to remove the floor. But I'm going to proceed with getting the top ready cut because I'm tired of having to duck to walk around in here. Is that a cool drill press or what? Well, I got the top rub rail off of both sides. And working on some of the trim pieces around the ends. This piece is not so sure he wants to come off. <laughs> Making progress. Here's where that stubborn piece was up by the door, so I got it all off. So I started working on the back corner here. I got a special tool to remove those rivets up there, so I hope it works really awesome. So maybe tomorrow I can get this. I gotta undo both these back corners, get them down to the tubing, and go from there. Well, I feel like I had a really great day today. I learned a lot about airlines and the little connectors. It's pretty cool. Can't believe those little plastic airlines have hold enough pressure to open the door, but they do. So that was awesome. And I got a lot of stuff removed. I got that rub rail removed. And got the, the seat belt bracket off. Got the air seat out. It was a really great day. I just miss having Shelly here. I hope her ankle feels better soon because I really I miss my honey.